On Deck podcast presented by Line Star, your best MLB player props for today on Underdog Fantasy and Rise Picks. Alongside my co host, Tyler Weeman, I am Shannon Somerville. Tyler, guess you got activated today for the Arizona Diamondbacks. It's our favorite player, Tommy Pham, not for anything baseball related, but because he had one of the more sensational stories of last season, which was that he slapped uh, Jock Peterson of the Giants because of a fantasy football dispute and today activated for the D-backs against the Giants. So we he will see his fantasy football nemesis today. So hammer all the Tommy fam overs. Yeah, I, I love it. I love this story. I love the fact that <laughs> fam is, he's actually batting third today too and going against Jock Peterson. Jokes just write themselves today. So fam is activated. I'm activated because we got football tonight. We got the Jets playing, but we've got some great baseball props for you here today. We're seven of nine on the week. We've been crushing the props game. Tyler, I'm about 66% correct on all of my props so far this season. Raking in the money and the tool I'm using to do that is the Props AI tool on the Line Star app. So make sure to check that out. Also, our picks are available on Underdog Fantasy and Prize Picks. So if you don't already have those apps, go ahead and download them. Use the promo code LINESTAR when you do, and you'll get up to $100 of your deposit match. Let's keep the money train rolling. It is Thirsty Thursday. Let's go get that beer money, Tyler. Who you got for your first prop of the day? My first prop of the day, I am going with Sunny Gray lower than 17 outs. Now, I don't remember exactly on one, either prize picks or underdog. This is at 17 on the other one at 16 and a half and 16 and a half is okay. I obviously don't like it as much, but you could, you can hit that. So gray, he's walking 3.4 batters per nine. St. Louis is eight most uh, walks per game. So that's really going to make gray, you know, use a little more pitches earlier in the game. It's just a sign that St. Louis you know, will work the count a little bit more. And he's only averaging 89 uh, pitches in a game. And when you're doing that, it's really hard to consistently get into the sixth inning. Not to mention, he is also worse on the road, which this game is. So let's go with the uh, Sunny Gray lower. Tyler, I'm going to Old Faithful for me. This season, I've been going to him quite a bit, and that is Cincinnati Reds outfielder. Will Benson higher than 0.5 bases? That's minus 130 in the sports books. Benson's hit this six of the last 10, including him when we picked him earlier in the week. Now, I get that he has kind of a low average as of late, just 200 over the last week is his batting average. However, this is a lefty bat that crushes righty, a 301 average against the Southpaws. And today he'll be going up against Chicago Cubs righty, Jamison Tyone, former Yankees pitcher, who struggles against lefty bats, giving up a 916 OP. OPS. Remember the MLB average for OPS is around 732. Tyone's just really struggled with the Cubs this season. He has been better recently because he did change his pitch mix a, li- a little bit and he's been relying more on fastballs. However, a guy who crushes fastballs is Benson. He has over a 300 average against him. So I don't think that pitch mix will serve him well today against the Cincinnati Reds team that is hot. What's also hot is the temperatures at Wrigley Field today. We've got a very high run total today in this game. The bookmakers are expecting a lot of offense in this game. So am I. And I think Benson is going to contribute to that and go over this 0.5 bases. They've been, who would have thought at the beginning of the season it'd be the Reds and the Cubs just like cranking out runs? battling it out <laughs> uh your little synopsis of why you like that that is a great way to my bonus which is jameson tyon higher than 2.5 earned runs at minus 155 in sports books look these offenses have both been going nuts this series and i think today might be cincinnati's time to uh get a little bit back against the cubs here so Tyone's been over in 73% of the games, and Cincinnati has a 194 ISO and 346 Woba versus right-handed pitching. And with the warm weather, I think it sets up well for uh, Cincy. Tyler, I think you might be surprised where I'm headed for my next prop pick. I am fading. Yes, you heard this right. Fading the Yankees today against the Houston Astros. And I'm going with Houston Astros outfielder Jordan Alvarez. Higher than one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs. 
quite simply, Alvarez is a machine at Yankee Stadium, and he's gone over for the six games. He's been back from injury. He came off uh, the aisle a little bit ago with an oblique injury, but he's been awesome since 400 average with two home runs in that span. This is a lefty bat going up against Yankees righty Clark Schmidt, who's giving up a 290 average, nearly 300 to lefty bats. And this Houston Astros team, they've found their stride as of late. They're top five in runs and RBIs and sixth in batting average. Over the last week, they've been on fire. I like Jordan Alvarez. He dominates at Yankee Stadium, too. I like the over here for one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs. I do have one more prop that I want to point out for our viewers here today. Just give you a little extra bonus here. And that's Seattle infielder Eugenio Suarez higher than 0.5 bases. The juice on that is around minus 141, so you're getting great value on underdog fantasy and prize picks because the payout is the same no matter what the bet is. He's gone over this aid the last 10 games, batting 360 over the last week. He's got a tougher matchup going up against uh, Los Angeles Angels righty Shohei Otani. However, yeah, he's coming off a one-hit shutout, so I get why people might be scared of this. However, Suarez is three for eight against Shohei, and the Los Angeles Angels bullpen isn't that great. They're bottom third in ERA and opponent average. I know they got some new guys there, but I still think Eugenio Suarez is a good hitter, and he's in a good situation today to just get one knock for us. That's all he's got to do. <laughs> but still hate when I fade Shohei, but... Cold hard math. Got to go where the numbers tell me, Tyler. Well, I'm not fading him. <laughs> I don't blame you. You can Taylor fade us on Underdog Fantasy. Remember to use the promo code Blindster when you do. You'll get up to $100 severe deposit match. And remember to do us a huge favor, like this video, subscribe to our channel, comment below. A comment will automatically enter you into our prop bets contest. If Tyler and I both hit our main props, one randomly selected commenter is winning $50. It's super easy. Just comment. Let us know where you're headed today in the prop market. And if you're going to hammer the over on Tommy Pham, whatever. I've looked on Underdog Fantasy and Prospects already to see if any Tommy Pham was there because I was just really excited when you uh, messaged me this morning that Tommy Pham was activated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and hitting third. There you go. Now it's time for our home run calls of the day. Tyler, where are you headed for a dinger tonight? You know, Shannon, when I told you I'm not fading Shohei, this is why I'm taking a pitcher today for my home run call. Shohei Otani, on a day that he's pitching, I'm calling a home run also. It's a plus 190 in sports books. Very low odds, but look, uh, woo is allowing a 386 ISO to lefties and a home run in 7.4% of his plate attempts. Meanwhile, Shohei's 30 of his 39 home runs have been off a righty. He's slugging 723 off him with 11 over an 1100 OPS. I think Shohei hits one out today. That price is insane to me for someone who's pitching It's today. insane. That's I know. so crazy. I know. When, when I when I was like going through everything and picking Shohei, I'm like, oh, because he's pitching, maybe there's a better price. Nope. <laughs> Not such luck, but good odds nope. there for us for our home run calls. I'm going to Jordan Alvarez. I picked him over one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs. I think he could hit a bomb today. Plus 300 are the odds there. Jordan Alvarez has hit two home runs in the six games. He's been back from injury, and he has a 318 ISO against righties. Remember, he's a lefty bat who will be going up against Clark Schmidt, the righty for the Yankees, who's given up a home run in each of the last three games. Also, Alvarez dominates at Yankee Stadium. He has six home runs in 10 games started at Yankee Stadium. Watch that short porch today. Jordan Alvarez going yard at Yankee Stadium does pay me to fade the Yanks, but in this situation, I just got to go where the numbers tell me, and that's Jordan Alvarez. I mean, that short porch and him as a lefty, it's a give me. Yeah, total give me there. So a little bit chalk on our picks for today, but I still like our situation yeah. here. We've gotten a couple home run calls right this week, so we've been doing well. We got to keep the money train rolling. We've been dominating lately. Make sure to check out the Props AI tool on the LineStar app to help you dominate the prop market as well. You can check that out, linestarapp.com. Also, make sure to 
Like this video if you're enjoying our content. Comment below, let us know where you're headed in the prop game and also check out all the latest content we have coming out. We got golf this weekend. So make sure to check out our golf video. Trevor's been holding it down for us in that department. So check out those videos. Good luck to you on Thirsty Thursday. Hope you guys win some money. Go get yourself a nice uh, bar tab there. That'll cover all the expenses with our picks. Let's go get it, Tyler. Good luck, everybody. Let's go. Love it. <laughs>